Hello, second grade students. This is Ms. Rosado, and I'm very happy to be able to read a really funny book. Today, we're reading a book called A Porcupine Named Fluffy. Do you know what a porcupine is? A porcupine is an animal that has spikes all over his body. Those are long pointed needles that keep him protected. But how can he be called Fluffy when Fluffy means soft and nice? Well, I've got the sun on my face because we are going to laugh together. Let's begin. A Porcupine Named Fluffy by Ellen Lester, illustrated by Lynn Munson Jr. And there's a rhinoceros also. Let's see what the book is about. When Mr. and Mrs. Porcupine had their first child, they were delighted. Both now he needed a name. Oh, I can see Mr. and Mrs. Porcupine, and they look so happy with the little baby porcupine. Should they call him Spike? No, Spike was too common. Should they call him Lance? No, Lance sounded too fierce. Should they call him Needle Rooser? No, Needle Rooser was too long. Prickles, Pokey, Killian. <gasps> then together they had an idea. Let's call him Fluffy. It's such a pretty name, Luffy. <laughs> and you can see the expression on little porcupine's face, or rather, shall I say, Fluffy's face. But soon there came a time when Fluffy began to doubt that he was Fluffy. <laughs> I just love the way his spikes are all over his head. He first became suspicious when he backed into a door and stuck fast. That was not a fluffy thing to do. <laughs> he was even more convinced when he accidentally slept on his back and poked holes in his mattress. A very unfluffy thing to do. When he tried to carry an umbrella, he knew the truth without a doubt. Fluffy definitely wasn't. <laughs> so he decided to become fluffier. Clouds are fluffy, he thought. I'll be a cloud. But he couldn't stay up. I know. Pillows are fluffy, he said. I'll be a pillow. But when his mother sat on him, she was not pleased. Ooh, ouch. He tried soaking in a bubble bath for 45 minutes. But he did not become fluffy. He became soggy. That means very wet. He tried whipped cream. He put a little on each quill. It was not easy and it took more than half a day. Oh, see, all of his little spikes are called quills. But this did not make him fluffy. They should have made me gooey, he sighed. I can imagine how sticky he is. He ate a lot of fluffy marshmallows. He rolled in shaving cream and feathers. He even tried to become a bunny. But the truth remained. Fluffy wasn't. Oh, he looks so sad. 
One day, Fluffy set out for a walk, trying to think of ways to become Fluffy. How will he become a nice, soft, fluffy person? Before long, he met a very large rhinoceros. Grrr, said the rhinoceros. I'm going to give you a rough time. Fluffy didn't know what a rough time was, but he didn't like the sound of it at all. What is your name? Small, prickly thing, asked the rhinoceros unkindly. Fluffy, said Fluffy. The rhinoceros smiled. He, he giggled. Then he laughed out loud. He rolled on the ground. <laughs> he jiggled. He slapped his knees. He roared with laughter. A porcupine named Fluffy, <laughs> howled the rhinoceros. Fluffy was embarrassed, but he tried to be polite. And um, what is your name? He inquired. Uh, I can't say it, giggled the rhinoceros. Hubert, suggested Fluffy. Ha, 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 oh well, I just can't say it. I'm laughing so hard, said the rhinoceros. Harold, or um, maybe Herman, asked Fluffy. No, gasped the rhinoceros. It's uh, 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 Hippo. Hippo? A rhinoceros named Hippo? Fluffy smiled. He giggled. Then he laughed out loud. <laughs> he jiggled and slapped his knees. He howled with laughter. <laughs> A rhinoceros named Hippo. <laughs> Fluffy cried. A porcupine named Fluffy. A rhinoceros named Hippo. It was almost more than they could bear. Hippo and Fluffy rolled on the ground, giggling and laughing until tears came to their eyes. At last, they lay exhausted on the ground. From that time on, they were the best of friends. And Fluffy, didn't mind being fluffy anymore, even though he wasn't. Ah, what a great story. I love this book. I hope you had fun, and I hope you'll read it again and again and laugh as much as I did. See you. Bye.